Hello, Music Technology. I'm going to demonstrate how to do Project 3, which is going to be an eight-measure drum beat. Uh, I'm here in BandLab. The first thing you need to do is create an account in BandLab, uh, www.bandlab.com. You can see that right up there. And so you are going to create an account for yourself using your DOE email. Uh, I've already done that. This is my page. And so I'm here in the library. Um, which is this tab up here, and then I press create to do a new project. Uh, I'm going to use a MIDI instrument. For those of you that have been coming into class, that should be pretty straightforward. So I'm using instruments right here, and so I click that, and it brings me here. The default instrument, or the instrument that it is automatically, is a piano, but we're doing drum beats. So here's how you change this. Over here, it says piano. I click that drop-down menu, and I go to drum kits. And this drum kit is the classic rock drum kit, which is the default. So that's what I'm going to use because it's automatic. So I am now going to make sure that my metronome is on so that I can hear the click. I'm going to press record, and I'm going to start with the bass drum or kick drum, which in this diagram is played right here. So I can click on this, and there's a lot of latency in my mouse, or I can press the S key on my keyboard. So it depends on whether you're using a mobile device or a pad or a computer. So I'm going to try and do my first track. I'm going to play the bass drum on every single beat. So I'm going to press record and then try to lock up exactly with the metronomes. Here we go. And I'm trying to stay right with the metronome. Great. And we're going eight full measures. So uh, in the assignment, it says this needs to be eight measures long. So there we have our first pass. That's great. And now I want to quantize that because with latency and with the fact that I'm trying to play this on a computer and not an actual drum and I'm not a drummer, that was not perfect. So I go to my MIDI editor down here. And now here are all of my notes. I can either draw a square, so if I click and drag, oh, if I can get a little closer here, click and drag, I can highlight every one of these notes in a box, right? And that's one way to do it. Or I can press, hold down Command and A, and that selects all. Now over here I have my quantizer, and I'm gonna change this drop-down menu to one-fourth, and hit quantize. And you notice it adjusts everything a little bit, and now it sounds like I played it perfectly. And if I turn off the metronome, right? So what the quantizing does is it takes what you played and it locks it up to the beat exactly. So there I've got my bass drum part. So now I'm going to go back to the beginning and now I'm going to add a new track. So here's add track. Same thing, MIDI instrument. It's going to default to piano, but I don't want a piano, I want drums. So I click on the piano in the instrument and do the same thing, drum kit, and there it is. And now I'm going to do the hi-hat. And the hi-hat is over here, and it's tough to see on this screen, but it's the number 9 or the O or the I key for my three different hi-hat sounds. So I'm going to do those two sounds, and now I'm going to record the hi-hat and... On most drum beats, the hi-hat is pretty fast. So I'm going to do some kind of, you know, random complicated stuff and just kind of mess around here. So here we go, eight measures of this. Make sure the metronome is on so you can hear the click. And here we go. So I did a bunch of stuff in there, and now I'm going to quantize that. So I come back down here to my MIDI editor, and I click on that, and here it is. And so now I'm going to Command A, select all, and instead of being to the 16th note, um, yeah, I'm going to do the 16th note. Um, the smaller the number, the smaller the amount of time it's quantizing to. So you can go to like the 32nd note, but I think that might be too extreme. I'm going to go to the 16th note. So I'm going to click that and then quantize and see everything move a little bit. 
Now I'm going to turn off the metronome, and here is what I have. Great. Okay, pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to add one more layer. Uh, so add another track, and I need a third drum set, so I change my instrument again, and so I'm going to change this to drum kits, and there we are. And now I want the snare drum, which is right there. And the snare drum should be uh, much less frequent than the other sounds. And so just to kind of do a demonstration here, the snare drum is usually on beats two and four. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna do that. I might do a couple of extra things just to mess around, but we'll see, but that's that's what I'm aiming for. So I'm gonna turn my metronome back on, and now here's my snare drum part. So one, two, three, four. Great. And you could hear some latency there at the very end. It didn't respond quick. So now I'm going to quantize that. So I go back to my editor, come down here, Command A, select all. And I'm going to do that to the eighth note. And quantize. Oh, right, quantize. Great. And so now if I turn this off, here is my drum beat. Okay, so now the last step, I'm going to add one more layer and I'm also going to edit this. I don't really like the beginning. And so I'm going to hold down the shift key and do all three of these at the same time. And I'm going to, well, I, I guess I can't on here. So I'm going to shrink each one of these down to three. So I'm going to kind of just erase this beginning part because I didn't really like it. And now I'm going to drag the whole thing back to the beginning so it'll line up again. And now I have this. And that's the part I like better. I'm like isolating the part that I like better. And now I need to make it eight measures long, so I use this little loopy button which copies it out again. So I need to go all the way to number nine and then stop. Ooh, hey now, little loopy guy, there we go. And then we click here. And then we drag that out, and that was too far, and there we have it. So, now I'm going to add one more track, and that one more track is also going to be a drum set, and it's going to be any other sounds that you want, so you can kind of mess around. On this drum kit, there's a cowbell, there are tom-toms, some cymbals, I don't really, I'm going to add some cowbell, right? So now I'm gonna do uh, a track with cowbell. So I make sure that that's the one that's recording, number four. I go back to the beginning and I'm gonna record some cowbell just every once in a while. So I was just kind of randomly hitting the cowbell there because I wasn't sure what I was going for. So now I'm going to quantize this last bit and I'm going to quantize it to, we'll do it to the 16th note. So Command A to select all, quantize, and here is my drum beat. Turn off the metronome, get rid of my editing, and let's see here. So two things. My cowbell is really loud, so I'm going to turn the volume on that track down a little bit. Then, I really don't like the first couple of cowbell notes that happen right there. So I'm going to get rid of some of these. I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to delete that one. So now let's see what we got. I don't like that one at all either. Get rid of you. 
and I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm just going to bring the cowbell in in the second half. So let's, uh, let's start from right here. Right. Okay. That part I really like. And so um, for my drum beat to finally finish this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the whole beginning, take it all the way to number five there on each one of these tracks. And so I'm going to shrink it down and just isolate the part that I like. And I'm going to just copy this now and make it eight measures long. So I isolated the part that I like, and now I copy it out, and now I am done. Uh, I still think the cowbells may be a little bit too loud. It kind of cuts through, uh, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit more, and here is the finished product. And there it is. Uh, feel free to watch this a bunch of times. When you're done, you're going to save. And so I'm going to save this now. And it's called New Project. And I'm going to change the title. And I'm going to say Project 3 Model. And there we go. And now I'm going to exit. Oh, it's saving in progress. So we're going to stay. And then I would share that. And that would be the end. So uh, there is how you do Project 3. Um, that is going to be due uh, next week. Uh, it might take you some time to edit that. If you're coming in in person, you're doing it in class. Otherwise, you're doing it remotely. There it is finished. I click on Exit. Right here it is. New project. It still didn't change the title, but that's fine. And then I would press Share right here. And that would be how I share the link to turn it in. Uh, stay safe out there. I look forward to hearing these. And I'll see you next time.